Today, we correct an oversight that is nearly three quarters of a century old by properly honoring the gallantry and courage of Royal Australian Air Force Flying Officer Edward Thompson Mobsby, presenting his family with his Silver Star. The Silver Star is awarded for gallantry in action against an enemy and is one of the highest decorations that can be presented in our armed forces. To the family and friends of Flight Officer Mobsby, thank you for making this journey. When war broke out around the world, Edward answered his nation's call, enlisting as part of the RAF Permanent Forces on 6 January 1941. He left behind in South Australia his wife and two very young daughters who were not yet old enough to remember their father. Sergeant Mobsby's performance report describes him as a keen hard worker who carries out his duties with energy and zeal, a good airman pilot. Pilot Officer Mobsby was detailed for duty with an American squadron. In those early days of World War II, the Australian, Royal Australian Air Force personnel were sometimes uh, attached to the U.S. Army units because we're short of air crews in the U.S. Army Air Force. The personal diary of Corporal Gunner Walter Cook, who was part of Pilot Officer Mobsby's crew, mentions that their Aussie mate was respected, greatly admired, loved for a sense of humor, energy, and willingness to serve. On 25 July 1942, Pilot Officer Mobsby's B-25 was a part of a flight of aircraft who departed his operating base at Port Moresby, Papua New Guinea, to attack enemy convoys at Buna and Ghana. The next day, the fateful day, Six B-25 crews were ordered to bomb Gasmata and stray flying boats. The squadron combat log states, this mission closely approached being an all-out suicide mission, since Gasmata was known to be too far for safe operations. Everyone in the mission was keenly aware that if the flight was intercepted on the way home, they wouldn't have enough gas to make it back to Port Moresby. As often happens, when the lead aircraft was unable to start one engine, Lieutenant Schmidt and Pilot Officer Mobsby's aircraft took the lead. The formation was intercepted en route by 20 to 30 Japanese fighters. Let me read again from the combat logs. Lieutenant Schmidt's and Pilot Officer Mobsby's aircraft was last seen blazing as it left the formation. Pilot Officer Mobsby's was last seen trying to bail out of the top hatch. Three of the crews that day were awarded the Silver Star for gallantry in action, including all the members of, pilot, of Lieutenant Schmidt's crew, every member that is, except for Pilot Officer Mobsby. Flight Officer Mobsby's Silver Star would have remained a casualty of war, buried and lost forever, if not for the efforts of some extraordinary people, most notably his daughter, Jenny Reed. This is a day about my father. He has always been a hero to his family. Now he is everyone's hero. The members of the United States Air Force, the Royal Australian Air Force, and all of you who are here today to hear his story. It is a great honor for us to receive the Silver Star Medal on his behalf. We've been overwhelmed. We, his children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and our extended families are so very proud and grateful for this amazing day. Thank you. Now some may say, why bother? This is something that happened over 72 years ago. Everyone involved is no longer with us. What difference does it make? To that I answer, it matters. It matters to Jenny and Ray, his daughters, to see their father properly honored. It matters to his grandchildren and great-grandchildren to know that they are the scions of a hero. And it matters to the men and the women serving today Think about that F-22 pilot up in Alaska flying in the 90th Fighter Squadron, the same squadron that Flight Officer Mobsby flew with. All of those who serve their country and put themselves in harm's way need to know that they can rest assured their bravery and gallantry in battle will be honored. That even 72 years from now, the selfless sacrifices they are making will be remembered. That their service matters and will be greatly honored. Ladies and gentlemen, our heroes, like Flight Officer Edward Thompson Mobsby, will never, ever be forgotten.